Welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans, or if it is your first time here by chance, please do hit that subscribe button, get ready for Clash update and sneak peek information. As we talk about, well, okay, let's just say that every now and then, somebody seems to really be getting it right, and that's what we are seeing from Tony, and yes, he's not a member of Full Night Attack, but he is absolutely crushing it with this Barbarian-based attack, and... You guys, this guy is, he is a three star specialist and not just at an average rank of trophies, but we're talking about at the very top of the game right now. And man, it all comes down to two words, barbarian control. And I have to tell you, it's something that I don't necessarily have. Most players can't pace their barbarians like this guy. And yes, it's the two Ps, pace and place. Let me tell you, using those barbarians to distract key defenses and dropping in the right number of barbarians to get barbarians, barbarians, barbarians to get the job done. But, but seriously, you guys, he just makes it look easy. When you watch Tony's attacks, you think, man, I could do that. This attack is broken. I could triple everything I want to, but it's not quite that easy. And it really comes down to, again, it's this placement and timing of these barbarians that is making all of the difference. So we're going to take a look at a couple more of Tony's attacks. And yes, of course, they are three stars. Now, I'm not saying that he triples every base, but I would say that he has a much, much higher rate of three stars than anybody I've seen in a long time. And again, it's just a little bit of finesse. It's the timing of these barbarians, and it looks so easy, but let me tell you, I've tried it myself, it's not that easy. There are certain keys to this. Now obviously he's using the battle machine early. He's got it down distracting some of the mid-range defenses. But again, like I've talked about in previous episodes, you've got to keep the giant cannon away from targeting the battle machine just like you see. You want to keep the battle machine away from the crushers just like you see and then you want the barbarians not to get absolutely melted by the roaster so there are many variables that you have to watch out for at the same time and a lot of that can be handled by dropping barbarians carefully and slowly and although again it looks easy it is not check out the number of units that are still alive at the end of this attack i mean come on tony could have four five six starred this base right here and you've got tons of barbs, cannons, the battle machine almost at full health, and another making it look easy three-star win for Tony. Now you'll notice sometimes he uses bombers and sometimes he doesn't. That all really depends upon the base design. And you can also see in clan chat that Tony is killing the friendlies. Now I'm only showing trophy attacks here because I think it would be too easy to three-star in friendlies once you get to know the base really well. But Tony, again, doing it out in multiplayer for the real deal. And watch it, it's one Barbarian and one Bomber. He's taking into account the range of defenses in the area. He knows what's there. He's analyzed this base. And that is really making a huge difference. And I have to say, something I'm guilty of not doing myself. I'm more likely just to go in and spam barbs and try to keep the barbs in front of the Bombers. No, Tony is very, very calculated and watching where he puts things. You can see the roaster is on the right-hand side. Those cannon carts are going after that near crusher right there. They're targeting the crusher, and although the battle machine is already in action, notice as the battle machine closes in, crusher long gone. Barbarians not getting annihilated by the roaster. They are moving around, taking out the builder hall. The battle machine is still up on the left-hand side, and now it's again, utter annihilation. Lots of units left, Barbarians, the Battle Machine is just barely going to survive. This Crusher, the Cannon Carts again, getting in there to help out. They are still alive at the end of this attack. Yes, you can see it. No defenses remain, and you've got troops of every kind still up. There was a bomber at the bottom right of your screen as Tony triples one more time. Now the thing is, if there were this many 3 stars happening all the time in multiplayer, it would be a sincere problem for Clash of Clans. Because the dev team has specifically said that 3 stars need to be super rare in builder-based battles, simply because if you started to see a lot of triples like this, 
from both sides, then you end up with a lot of ties, and then that is just a ton of time wasted for players who are trying to get up in the trophies, trying to collect that loot. And obviously, this is not something that is that easy to do. So I challenge you guys to go out and try this, but again, remember there are so many different variables. You have to consider where the roaster is, where the giant cannon is, where the crushers are. Look at that battle machine avoiding the near crusher easily. I mean, it's like Tony's got his units programmed. It's like he's got them on remote control. Tony? No, no, but seriously, it's like he knows exactly where they're going to go. And that is part of this game, is knowing the pathing, knowing the behavior of your units, and knowing exactly how many of each unit it takes to get those structures down, even when under pressure. Again, you've got a cannon cart right there, taking out the final crusher. And again, not a lot of defenses left. Now, he's lost his battle machine this time. But look at that heroic cannon cart right there, working against the last defense. And in last stand, gets the job done. And that means it's only a heroic bomber that is going to finish out the three stars. So uh, we want to make this video 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and watch this entire... Oh, okay, I'm kidding. We're going to fast forward it. And we're going to get through this. The video will be 10 minutes anyway. Who are we kidding, right? Okay. Not that most of you will watch all the way to the end. Will you? Will you watch till the end? Are, are, you're here. You're like two-thirds of the way committed through this video. Will you stay? I'm guessing yes. I'm going to say if you're already to this point in the video and you haven't left yet, that you're probably going to stay to the end. That's just me. I could be wrong. Okay, I, I need to stop. That's just wasting. No, I wasn't wasting time. The battle was running. And now we're on to Tony's last three-star of the day. I mean, this guy's got more three-stars in his log than almost anybody I know, unless you are playing players that are a much lower level than you are, and as you can see, Tony is not. Almost every single base that Tony has faced right here is a fully maxed out Builder Hall 7, except for walls, which really don't matter that much when you have such precision that you can keep your bombers up pretty much the entire attack. And that is the fundamental winning strategy to any ground attack, is keeping the high DPS units alive more specifically, likely the cannon carts, but the bombers, a huge bonus here. If you can have them up late in the attack, they are going to get a lot of damage done. And oftentimes it is going to be that situation like you saw in the last replay where the bombers have nothing to stop them. And if you got one or two of them left, you can finish out the three star. Now this again looks like an unlikely three star. Tony is only three quarters of the way through this base, but check out the cannon carts at the bottom. They only need to defeat that Archer Tower, and it is all over right there, out of range of the Crusher, the Cannon Cart, getting the job done. One is in last stand, and again, it's a Bomber. A Bomber and a Cannon Cart, finishing off another three-star for Tony. So thank you, Tony, for visiting Full Night Attack. Best of luck on your trophy push to the top of the leaderboards. And thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of this video. Let me know if there is some other strategy you would like to see, other video concepts that you would like to see on this channel. As always, you guys are the hashtag Galifam. I appreciate every last one of you, and I sincerely hope that you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I hope that you can go out there, be kind to other people, remember not to take things personally, and of course, in life, as in Clash of Clans, give everything 100% effort, Make every attack a full attack. Galindo! Galindo! Why is the outro screen moving so incredibly slow like? Are you trying to stretch this video out to 10 minutes? Galindo! You greedy... By the, what is that thing called? The flamethrower? No, the, the, the kettle? The tea kettle? The fart machine? Or what is it? Gosh darn it! I mean, those big, beautiful bombers ballistically bombarding bases is be... <laughs> no. Keep your pants up. Keep your bombers up. It's it's the same basic idea. Tony's got a belt for his bombers. He's, he's belted his bombers, and they're not falling down. Bombers around your knees. And you'll notice as the last of the Gally bombers go, Peter, come on, I'm recording here, buddy. Later. And again, it goes.